let me show you how to create a conversational form on WordPress. So follow me to my desktop right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to create a conversational form on WordPress. Now, the key difference between a traditional form and a conversational form is that a classic form will have every single question displayed in one section and a conversational form will have a question at a time. That means it's going to be a step form. So it's a really great option for users who really get overwhelmed with a lot of questions. Sometimes it even happens to me when I see a traditional form and I see more than 10 questions, I might skip that form unless it's really important. And a conversational form will be a question by question, which really will pass me by without even me knowing. So it's a great option. Plus, it looks really nice and it's really great when you add it to WordPress. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to create one right now. OK, so this is my job form dashboard and you have several options available to create your conversational form. You can get started by blank form or you can use a template. In this case, let me show you first if you start from blank. So if I go to blank form, I have two options, classic form, which is every single question in one single section. And then there's a the card form, which would be the conversational form. OK, so in this case, I'm going to choose card form. And in this section, I have the option to add the elements for all my questions. Now, every single element that I add is going to add a section here, which is going to be a step by step question. OK, so, for example, if I'm going to ask for the full name, I'll select there. Then I'm going to ask for the address. Then it'll be, for example, phone number and the email. OK, so I've added sections here and you can see there's a little next option here. It tells me that I have to jump into the next section. Each one of these sections will allow me to customize it in properties to change field names if I want to add other options like middle name, prefix, etc. And that will be different for each one of the elements that we add into this conversational form. Now, if you want to test out the conversational form, you can go into preview form to see how it actually flows. You can see here it's a conversational form. I'll get started. Here's our first question. We'll go to the next one. It's going to go next next okay and you do have the option to enable or disable the steps right here for example it's telling me this is four out of four and i can go ahead and disable that if i like okay now that's optional now if you want to switch from a traditional form after selecting the card form that is possible and the other way around too okay so if i go to the form designer i'll go into the layout and in layout, you can see here classic form and card form. So that means that if you started with a class with a classic form, you can switch it over to a card form later on and the other way around, too. So it's up to you if you want to do that. OK, now there's a template that I want to show you that I really love, which is the event feedback form. This is a great template that we can start using right now and customize it for our own needs. So, for example, in the templates, we can go ahead and test it out without having to jump into the actual builder. So I can see if this is the right fit for me, if I like how it flows, if I like the questions that it has, etc. And I can use this and then customize it. So you, see, you can see here, um, it's fine. I like it. I can go ahead and use this template right away. Now, the beauty about using a template is that we can customize it afterwards. That means that this doesn't have to be an event feedback template. I can use it for something else, but I can take advantage of the distribution the options, etc. If I want to get rid of something, I'll just go ahead and remove it, for example, and I'll customize it to however I want to use it. All right. Now, the idea is to add our conversational form to WordPress once we have it ready. And there's several options for this. OK, now, once we build our conversational form, we also want to take advantage of conditional logic. Now, before I show you how to do that, let me show you how to add our conversational form into WordPress. OK, so there's several options for this. And the first one I want to show you is by adding the zip file into our plugin section on WordPress. That means that we have to download our plugin here and I'll go ahead and download it. Then I'll go into WordPress. Now, hypothetically saying we are here on the dashboard on WordPress and we want to add this plugin. How do we do it? Well, we'll go to plugins. We'll click on add new plugin. And since this is a zip file that we downloaded, we are going to upload a plugin. So I'll go ahead and select it. I'll go ahead and choose the file. And I'm going to choose the file that I've just downloaded. OK, so it's this one right here. I'll go ahead and install it, activate the plugin. And here we go. Job form online forms is now installed here. So what this is going to allow me to do is add my forms into WordPress really easily. OK, so to do that, let's go into a brand new page. I'll go ahead and create one for testing purposes. And I'm going to name this form. And then we have this little plus button. That means that we are using Gutenberg on WordPress. I'll click on it. 
and I'll go ahead and search for a classic. Go to select it, and we have this little icon right here. Now, if I don't have installed the plugin, I won't be able to visualize this icon. So do consider that, okay? I'm gonna click on it, and now it's going to allow me to view all the forms that I have available on JotForm. That means that in this case, I'm gonna select this one, Event form, Feedback Form, which is a conversational form that we've just selected as a template. So I'm gonna select it, I'm going to continue. Here it is, we got the short code. I am going to save it, and let's go ahead and publish it and preview this, okay? Here we go, let's go ahead and view the page. And here we go. We now have our conversational form here on WordPress. Now, one of the biggest advantages of doing this is that if we modify our conversational form on JotForm, it's going to automatically update on our website. That means that we don't have to come back to our website and modify anything. We don't have to add that code again or anything like that. It's already going to be done automatically, which is a great option. Now, that's one of the ways that we can add our conversational form here on WordPress. Let me show you a different way too, okay? So let's go ahead and remove that plugin. Okay, here we go. So in this case, I'm going to remove the plugins so we don't get mixed up. And we're going to add the plugin via the WordPress repo. So let's go into add new plugin. And in this case, we're not going to upload the plugin. We are going to search for job form here. Here we go. And we are going to select this one, okay? So we're going to install it. And this is going to save us some steps by not going over there and downloading the zip file and uploading it, okay? We're going to activate it. All right, here we go. It's now activated. And again, let's go into pages. Let's go into a brand new page and I'll say form two. And again, I'm going to click on the plus button. I'm going to search for a classic. And again, we see the icon right here so we can select our form. So I'll go ahead and select it. Let's go ahead and continue, save it. Let's go ahead and publish this. And we should be able to preview it right now, all right? And here we go. We have our conversational form. So that's another way that we can add our conversational forms to WordPress. And there's another option too. So let's go back into plugins. I'll go ahead and deactivate this. Let's go ahead and add new. Search for job form. Here we go. And now we're going to install the job form O embed. So it's a different type of embedding option via the link. Okay. So let's go ahead and activate this. Here we go. Now let's go into pages. And again, I'll use the brand new page and I'll just form name this form three. Let's go inside of here and I'm going to go into my event form. I am going to go into publish and I'm going to grab the link. So I'm going to copy this link. Here we go. Let's go into the builder here. Let's add the link. And it's now displayed automatically. OK, let's go ahead and publish this. And let's go ahead and preview this. So it's a really neat option to use here on WordPress because it's super easy to just implement it here. And you can use other themes available and just paste a link and it will work, right? Now, let me show you the last option, which is using iframe. I am going to deactivate this. So we don't have any job form plugin available here. It's not installed on WordPress. And we're still going to be able to add our conversational form here on WordPress, okay? So let's go back into our event form. And again, we're going to go into publish. We're going to go into embed and we're going to search for iframe. Here it is. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's go back into WordPress. Remember, we don't have any job form plugin installed. These are deactivated. And I'm going to go into pages. I'll add a new page. I'll just say form four for testing purposes. And in this section, I am going to add an HTML block, right? I'm going to paste it here. Let's go ahead and publish it. Here we go. Let's go and preview this page. And here we go. We have our conversational form. Now, this is a popular method, too, because you don't have to install a plugin. Now, if you want to keep your WordPress website light with less plugins, this is a great option. Just embed the iframe into your WordPress website. So it's a really great option to do so by using that option. And that's how you're going to add your conversational form on WordPress. Now, I told you that we're going to show you how to use conditional logic here on the conversational form. And I'm going to show you a really popular use case with these forms. Take, for example, this form right here. We have several questions available, and some of these questions might not be necessary depending on the option that they've selected, okay? Now, let's take, for example, this question right here. Overall, how entertaining was the event? Now, we're going to say that if they chose five or less, we're going to skip these two questions, okay? Now, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go into settings conditions, and there's several options available, okay? So in this case, we're going to do the show and hide field. Let's go ahead and show this. So we're going to say this question, the overall, how entertaining was the event? And we're going to say if it's less than the value of 
five, then what is it going to do? Well, it's going to hide, for example, the next question. And I'm going to click on the plus button and it's also going to hide the third question. Let's go ahead and save this. Here we go. So as I mentioned before, if they chose five or less, it's going to hide these two fields and it's going to jump to this section. OK, so let's go ahead and preview this form. Let's go ahead and get started next. Select option one. Here it is. And in this case, I'm going to select six and we got to the next question. All right. So which is this one that are not hidden. Let's go back. Now, if I choose four, then it just skips to the next question by skipping the two that we've selected to be hidden, which is a really great option. Now we can also use this conditional logic the other way around so we can hide certain options here. So let me go ahead and get rid of the conditional logic that we've just created. There we go. Let's go ahead and delete this. Okay, It's now going to work normally. Now, what we're going to do here is that I'm going to go into properties. I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to hide this field. Okay, you can see here it's hidden and I'm also going to do this for this one hide field, right? So now both of these fields are hidden and now I'm going to set conditional logic to show if something happens. And in this case, I'm going to do if option is option one is selected, then show these two. All right. So let's go into our settings, conditional logic, and we're going to go show and hide field. And we're going to say, okay, which event did you attend? And we're going to say is equal to, and I'm going to say option one. So if option one happens, I'm going to show the questions, all right? Now, as I mentioned before, we hit these questions first in order for this conditional logic to work. So in this case, I'm going to show this one and the next one, all right? Show. And here's the next one, all right? So remember, if option one is selected, it's going to show these. If not, they won't show. So I'm going to save this and let's go preview our form right now. Let's go ahead and get, it, get started. Next. And first, I want to show you this one. Option two. The questions will not show. Here's the first one. And then it jumps the two other questions, right? Let's go back. Now they select the event one, for example. I'll go next. I'll select here. Here's the next one. And here's the next one. So they are not hidden anymore. So these are really great options to use in conditional logic to show and hide fields, which are really popular in conversational forms. OK, now there's several options available for conditional logic that you can use. As I've showed you right now, this is show and hide field. There's also update calculated fields. So if you want to calculate the rating that they chose, we can do that with conditional logic. You can mark as required depending on what they've selected. You can skip or hide a page. You can change the thank you page and you can change the email recipient. All of these with conditional logic. So several options available for your conversational forms. Now, I also want to show you job form tables where we're going to be able to preview all, all form submissions in a really neat form. OK, so let me go ahead and fill this out once. Let's go into preview form. And give me a few seconds and I'll fill this out really quickly. Here we go. The form has now been submitted. Let me get out of here. And we have several options to head on over to job form tables. One, if you're inside the form, we can click on the drop down menu here and we can go to tables. So if we go to tables, we're going to be able to jump into job form tables and we're going to view every single submission that has been filled out. Now you have a really clear view of every submission here. In this case, there's only one but we're able to view every single response available from that particular form. Here we go. Every single response and they're going to be all available right here. Now we can take advantage of all the advanced features here on job form tables like the search feature filters. We can even create new tabs with different type of views that really makes job form tables really stand out. Now that's if you preview the job form tables from the form. But if you're here in the dashboard, go over here, go to more and we're going to go into submissions and that will take you to job form tables. So it's a really easy way to do that. Well, I hope you like this video. This is how you're going to add your conversational forms to WordPress. Now, if you like this video, please let us know here in the comments what you think about this integration with JotForm and WordPress and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.